Okay, so we're doing the Oakland A's. Uh, this is a team that is probably going to most likely move to Las Vegas. And like I said, it's a, it's a sad thing, especially because Oakland has always been that gritty team that, you know, I uh, I work hard. I'm a blue-collar worker. I'm going to punch you in the mouth, though, when it comes down to it. I'm going to play my ultimate best, man. And, uh, you know, I'm going to do it from an underdog standpoint. And, uh, you know, I think losing that Oakland... It's sad. They already lost the Raiders, losing the A's. I think it's just sad, man. It sucks. Um, it's a team that, you know, has been struggling. They don't have the payroll that we have some of these other budget teams, including the Dodgers. So, I mean, it's tough when you're trying to be in contention and you don't have the money to do it. Uh, but that's why there are teams like the Cardinals that have built from farm systems and were able to win World Series titles. And uh, for the A's, I mean, they need every position, really. Um, but it starts with the process, and, and that's why I love these previews is that process happens and, you know, things are going to happen, moves are going to be made to try to build it from a ground team to, you know, a, an okay team that's in the hunt to a playoff team to a World Series contender to a World Series champion, you know, and I think the A's are obviously building from the ground up right now, but, um, you know, it's going to, it's... Right now, I think it's the darkest it's going to go. I think they can definitely continue to progress. They just need to continue to build their farm players, and they need to continue to work at getting acquisitions and, and you know, trying to buy in these players, man, to play better ball. And I think it can happen, um, especially that it needs to happen uh, for these fans to be invested. And, you know, I know they want this. They want to get to relevancy again. They were in the early 2010s, you know, so... They can do it. They just need to consistently try to progress. So the A's last World Series title was 1989. The last year record was 50 and 112. It's tough because you only won 50 games, but the fact that you lost 112, that's just, it's it's tough, man. Like I said, I think they, they can't go any farther than this. I don't believe they can. Um, and, I mean, acquisition-wise, they got help, first of all. Scott Alexander relief pitching, I think that's a great thing for them, for the bullpen. They need a veteran guy. I think it starts there. It's not going to be solved within a year, but that's good for them. Third baseman, J.D. Davis, first of all, helps them offensively. Secondly, it helps them defensively, just because they struggled with both sides of that. I think J.D. Davis is a great pickup for them. And then you got the starting pitcher, Alex Wood, who is going to good be well for the rotation. It's going to teach some of the young guys, and I do believe they can excel with him there as a mentor. Um, if you look at the rankings, 21st in home runs, 30th, so bottom of the league in hits and batting average, 29th, second to debt, second to last um, in the league in ERA. They were 26 in strikeouts, 28th in saves, fifth in home runs allowed, third in errors committed, 29th in fielding percentage. One team was worse in fielding percentage than them. So yeah, I mean this is a team that needs improvement on every aspect of everything. Um, and, you know, I, having a departure, the only departure was Loreano. I mean, you know, they're going to get through this. Um, they just need to continuously work towards it. Uh, you look at the rotation, 30-year-old Paul Blackburn, 4-7, 4.43 and year A, and a 104 Ks. 24-year-old Luis Medina, 3-10 and record, 5.42 year A, and 106 Ks. J.P. Sears, a 28-year-old, he went 5-14, and 4.54 year A, and 161 Ks. Then you got 33-year-old Alex Wood, 5-5, five 4.33 and five, ERA, and 74 Ks. And you got 26-year-old Kyle Mueller, who was 1-5, 7.60 ERA, and 56 Ks. So uh, rotation-wise, Alex Wood, definitely going to help the young guys, right? And I think he can pitch better than that. Um, Kyle Mueller, Louis Medina, J.P. Sears, I do believe that they can improve. But for them to improve, the offense has to improve, right? I mean, you can't just ask a pitcher to do everything and close out with shout out innings. They gotta put up points, right? And then Paul Blackburn, he's been there before. He's a veteran and I mean he's definitely better than that. Definitely. And their bullpen, Trevor Gott, a thirty one year old, twenty nine innings pitched, four point one nine ERA with sixty two Ks, twenty eight year old Lucas Ersig, fifty five innings pitched, four point seventy five year area with sixty eight Ks. Thirty four old thirty four year old Scott Alexander the pickup, forty eight point one innings pitched, four point six six ERA, thirty one Ks. 30-year-old is Sean Newcomb with 15 innings pitched, 3 ERA, and 17 Ks. And 29-year-old Zach Johnson, Jackson, 18 innings pitched, 2.50 ERA, and 23 Ks. Bullpen's okay. It's veteran. 
lead. Um, it's not a long-term solution, but I think this team can pull it off and win more than 50 games. Let's be real. Closer-wise, 24-year-old Joe Boyle, 16 innings pitch, 1.69. ERA with 15 Ks. Um, he's a future guy. I think he could be pretty good for a piece. Uh, you look at the starters. They got catcher, 26 year old Langoliers, 205 batting average, 22 home runs, 63 RBIs with a 99 fielding percentage. Pretty good. First baseman's Nota, 27, 229 batting average, 16 home runs, 54 RBIs, and a 99.1 fielding percentage. Second base, 24 year old Geloff. 267 batting average, 14 home runs, 32 RBIs, and a 98.9 fielding percentage. Shortstop, 33-year-old Diaz, 229 batting average, 4 home runs, 24 RBIs, and a 97.8 fielding percentage. Third base to pick up J.D. Davis at 30, 248 batting average, 18 home runs, 69 RBIs, and a 96.7 fielding percentage. And the outfield, left field, 26-year-old J.J. Blade, he had a 195 batting average, 10 home runs, 27 RBIs, 96 fielding percentage. Center fielder Ruiz, 25 years old. He had a uh, 254 batting average, 5 home runs, 47 RBIs, and 97.8 fielding percentage. And 31 year old Brown, 222 batting average, 14 home runs, 52 RBIs, and 100% fielding percentage. With their DH being 29 year old Rooker, who had the best year at 246 average, 30 home runs, 69 RBIs. So DH wise, I think they hit it on the head. He had 30 home runs, you know, 30 big bombs. You want to have a guy like that there. Um, definitely could be better with the RBIs, but again, runners got to be on base. You look at the lineup, um, Langoliers, young guy. I think he could do really well. I think his numbers will be better. Noda has potential of doing really well. He's another young guy. Geloff, I'm excited to see that guy play. I think he's got a lot of potential. I think he's got great defensive skills. Uh, I do believe that um, you know he could be uh, pretty good with raking. Um, Definitely. Uh, Diaz, it's a, just a veteran shortstop until they figure out what they want to do um, in terms of how do they move on with another shortstop, maybe a prospect, maybe a long-term signing later in the future. Uh, J.D. Davis, again, that's a great pickup for him. They just added more offense to him with him. Blade, young guy, another young guy. Ruiz, another young guy. So, I mean, these are some, this is a young, young starting group with some veteran leadership, so... Someone's got to give. I don't see him, you know, being an amazing ball club in terms of, you know, 116 wins, 100 wins, 90 wins. But I, I do believe that they could turn around and, uh, you know, it's a process and they got to trust in that. And the organization has to trust in that. And they got to put in the work as well. So uh, overall, you know, we'll see how it goes. I, I think there's some, there's some good things going on in Oakland um, in terms of the moves. And we'll see how it goes.